guys, it is the Thrifty Mommy here and I'm going to be doing a tag video today. So this morning I was watching Miss Diaper D and she did the cookbook tag and I thought it would be kind of a fun tag to do, especially since I do a lot of recipe videos which I will link down below. I will also list um, Dana's link for her video down below as well. But I'm going to jump right into it because I have a bit to go through here. And I have them all stacked up right here next to me. Now the ones I'm going to go through first are the ones that I don't really use a ton. I just have them and I haven't gotten rid of them for one reason or another. And then towards the end I will go through the ones that I really, really like and use a lot of. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first one we have is Low Fat Top Secret Recipes. This is what it looks like. And it has a ton of different recipes that are like the healthy version of things. Like we have some Sonic recipes, KFC, Rainforest Cafe, um, Girl Scout cookies, etc, etc. I have not actually used this at all yet. I haven't even tried a single recipe out of here. I got it from the thrift store, but I just haven't tried it. So I can't tell you whether they're good or bad recipes in there. I just haven't used it. Okay, next book that I have not used yet, and it's also a thrift store purchase, was the Ultimate Cooking with Four Ingredients cookbook. And I don't have a reason really why I haven't used it because they do have some stuff that looks pretty yummy in here but I just wanted I remember buying it because I was like oh four ingredients that's awesome for when like groceries are dwindling but I just haven't used it <clears throat> I have a bunch of these taste of home little things laying around I don't know if this would be considered a cookbook I guess it is because it's all recipes you find these at checkout at the grocery store um, I bought this one the freezer meals it's the only one I have left the rest of them I will just tear out the recipes I like and then um, give them away. But I remember buying the freezer meals one when I was pregnant with Jackson, if I remember correctly, because I thought, well, that would be perfect. And I just, I didn't like any of them in this book. I just need to give this book away. I have used a few out of this one. I bought it at a garage sale for $3. It's the Fix It and Forget It cookbook for slow cooker. There's some in here that I like. I haven't tried out a ton. I'm a pretty picky eater, but um, I just, I don't know. I haven't, I, I'm horrible at trying new things and I need to. So maybe something out of there. Then this one I actually really like. It is the Biggest Loser Family Cookbook. I got this one at the thrift store as well for a dollar. And um, they have some pretty good ones in here and I really like it. And it breaks down all the, um, like, we got the strawberry, they have, um, I don't know, like, these are desserts and breakfast and lunch, and it tells you, like, how you should eat, and then it gives you your calories, your proteins, all that kind of stuff in this book. I really like this one. Now, this one, I have to cover the bottom. This one I really like, and it's one of my favorites, and you'll see why. But I got it for Christmas. It is the fourth grade holiday recipes. I'm covering the bottom because it has the teacher's name on there. But this is from Trevor. And each kid had to go through and pick out their favorite recipe. And I'm gonna cover the top here. And then they brought the recipe on written paper to the school and they had to type it up. And then they had to find an image of their item on the computer and make a page and each student has a page in this book, so I'm, I really, really like this one. Then the next one I have, and I use this sometimes, I don't use it a ton, but there are some recipes in here I really like, and I'm sure I would like more if I just took the time to try them, but it's Betty Crocker Quick and Easy Cookbook. And if you notice, I have a lot of like, the four, the four ingredients one is easy, right? The slow cooker easy and then this is like the 30 minute or less meals so I am not necessarily big on cooking unless it's something that is easy simple and quick my husband on the other hand he likes to do these big intricate meals have to go shopping and get all the stuff and spend all day I, that's just not something I'm into I'll do that every once in a while but I really appreciate the easy cookbooks 
And then when we got our grill, I got my husband the grilling cookbook. It is Better Homes and Garden. Now I used to have Better Homes and Garden cookbooks and I don't know what happened to them. I wonder if I, I, I really, I don't know what happened to them, but I like the Better Homes and Garden cookbooks. They tend to have a lot of good recipes. And anyway, this one's all about grilling. Different meats, marinades, temperatures, um, like how to prepare the meat, all that kind of stuff. The temperature it needs to be in and Anyway, I really, really like this one. It gets used a lot, especially um, in the summertime. And then over here, this is just our random binder of recipes. And what it is, usually I'll jot things down and if I end up liking it, I'm like, oh, we should save that. It winds up in here. So I have a lot of handwritten um, notes in here. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to this book. There's even stuff like, <laughs> Want stuff in there. It just it's not organized, and I need to organize it. I also have things from like online that I found that like scalloped potatoes and ham recipe. I think that one was from FoodNetwork.com. So I would print them off and put them in my little binder if I liked it to save for later. So kept that one, and my cousin left this here it's a box full of recipe cards so it's not necessarily a cookbook but you get what i'm you get it and it's mainly um, recipes my aunt had jotted down but there's some really really old ones in there that i can tell her from my grandma who has since passed away so that's kind of a neat little thing to have i haven't gone through all the recipes in there but um because they're not all in a uh, best of orders so I really want to go through and sift through these and see if I can find any that I really like out of this box now these come more to like these cookbooks have some sort of meaning to them so this one I'm gonna to have to cover up the top because I don't want to give away any information on where I'm from but this cookbook comes from the town I'm originally from and it's a thick one and um, people throughout the town and um, church members etc etc will uh, submit recipes and they get put in this cookbook and it gives you a little spot for notes on your recipe anyway what's really neat about this is below each recipe and I have to cover it all up because there is names in here bookmark but below each recipe would be the person's name who submitted it and it's all from my hometown so that's kind of cool and because it is from there the recipes in there are a lot of recipes that I grew up with and they're like the Midwest style um, farm farm meals is what I call them so here's the original one I had and this was my mom's so it's quite old and um, that's what that looks like and it's obviously very dirty and getting worn and it's been used a ton but it's a really really nice uh, book I use this one probably the most out of all my cookbooks and like I said um, I know most of the people in here like I recognize the names or I know them or uh, some of them have passed away since then and it's just it's really I, I like having this book now, this one we made when I was in middle school and it submitted from all of the the students at my middle school so again it's a pretty thick one and I can't show you the inside because there are names of my classmates and things in there but I use this one a ton which I didn't think I would because it's like a middle school book but there's a lot of good like home style meals and like just those good hearty farmer meals which is I mean that's what I was raised on so that's kind of the thing that I like and lots of casseroles or hot dishes as some people call them and things like that so I really like this book and as you can tell I mean pages are getting torn I have two of them so I haven't opened the other one it's still like brand new because I don't want to ruin it because there are so many good recipes in here and a lot of them are like recipes passed down from family member to family member and they wind up in the book it's kind of neat now this one is really special to me and I'm gonna cover it all up you're hardly gonna be able to see anything on here but this is my family cookbook and what I'm covering with my hand down here is my grandpa and grandma's uh, wedding certificate now both my grandpa and my grandma have passed away and so that's kind of special just to have that as the cover and it's called gathering at the table 
And then in the front, there's a little note in here, and it says, Put in this book together. It has been a labor of love. I enjoyed making connections with so many of you on behalf of the cookbook. Thank you to all who have participated in any way. In that spirit, I would like to dedicate this book to our families in the past and our families in the future. May we all continue to gather at our tables. Now, what's really cool about this one, obviously, it's like a lot of family recipes, right? And they have some from my my grandma, who I never knew my grandma because she passed away. I think my dad was around 15 years old, 14 or 15, when she passed away from kidney cancer. So to see, they actually had scanned in some of her handwriting into the book. So I thought that was really neat. And then you can see here, boop, let me cover the names. This, these are my aunts and uncles. How cool is that? So they have pictures in there. And there is my dad when he was a little boy. I think he kind of looks like Jackson and Parker. But anyway, and then on the pages, in each section, someone wrote a memory about grandpa and grandma or whatever. And so some of them are from my aunts and uncles, so it's memories of their mom and dad. And there's mem like, I was able to write a memory about grandpa because, you know. So this is just a really cool keepsake to have. Plus there's some good recipes that, again, I grew up eating family get togethers. Anything that was at a family get together is in this book. and. It's nice to be able to go through and read the memories of all my family members and things like that. So this is by far my favorite as far as like memories type things go. And then these two are my favorite as far as recipes go. So they're all from um, people I know made these books. So I thought that was really cool. And that concludes my cookbook tag video. Now, I don't want to tag anybody in particular because I can't think of anybody off the top of my head whenever I'm doing these videos. So if you haven't done this um, tag, please do it. It's a really fun tag and I would like to watch it just to see what everybody else has. And uh, yeah, if you do do the tag, let me know and I would love to watch it that way. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.